between girls and boys sheets and accessories. I think they should change it so that everybody can be able to use anything that they want so that everybody feels equal. Boys bedding features baseballs, footballs, trucks and dinosaurs. The girls items are mostly pink with ballerinas and horses. Target will soon label these items kids bedding and do similar gender neutral labeling for toys and entertainment. My son liked to have his fingernails painted pink <laughs> at one time and uh, my girls, they're all, all of them are very athletic and, and we never said you play with Barbies and you play with trucks. And my kids just play, especially since I have both, they play with all toys interchangeably so it'll be different. Me personally, I grew up, you know, playing sports and doing things that people might be, oh, that's kind of boyish, you know, but I think if you want to play sports, if you want to play with Barbies, do what you want. All but one person we interviewed applauded the change, but there's still an issue beyond Target's control, the marketing of these products. We found the packaging on sewing, jewelry, and other craft kits features only girls, and there's only boys' faces on toys like Nerf guns. In Gaithersburg, Andrea McCarran, WUSA 9. And Target released a statement saying, in part, we thank guests all the time for challenging us to get better at what we do and take the shopping trip to new levels. We're always listening, and your thoughts and ideas help us make Target, your Target, a better place. One father told us off camera, though, he liked things the way they are. He said boys will be boys and girls will be girls, and they need their own stuff. <laughs> Maryland Governor Larry Hogan says he has some good news and he's got some great news tonight. He shared this photo on Facebook just about 90 minutes ago. He said the good news is that he finished a fifth straight day of 24-hour chemo. The great news is that he's halfway through his treatments. Mm. Governor Hogan, as you know, is fighting stage 3 non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. He said he spent some time with fellow cancer patients the past few days, and he's inspired by their strength. And we know he's going to pull through. That's right. All right, a close call for firefighters when a house explodes. What sparked those flames is coming your way later. Also, they look real, but up close, there's no normal family on a park bench. After the break, the message one local city is trying to send with these faceless mannequins. You're watching WUSA 9, your only local news at 7. Get ready.